All right, I'll probably take a couple more minutes for everybody to join in, but in the meantime, we can probably uh, kick things off. So thanks everybody for joining us today. Welcome. Uh, my name is Tanner Watt. I'm a Municipal Program Specialist with Local Authority Services. Uh, today we're going to be hearing from uh, one of our partners in the CANOE program, Bobcat and Dusan. Uh, so I'm joined today by a few of their reps. We've got uh, Randy Fuss, Director of Government Accounts, Jesse Ralt, Government Account Manager, and Todd Kennedy, Senior Dealer Account Manager. Uh, a couple of housekeeping notes for the event. We are recording this and we will send out a follow-up email to you probably this afternoon with a link to the video archive. You'll also be getting an email uh, after that with a link to a survey, which we'll ask you to fill out just to give us a little bit of feedback on how this webinar went uh, and to help us improve them going forward into the future for, for events that we uh, host into the future. Uh, for Q&A, we're going to use the Q&A function built into Zoom. So uh, if you click on the, the button at the bottom of your screen that says Q&A, you can type in any questions as we go through. Uh, once the guys are done with their presentation, we'll switch over to, to that and uh, let the guys uh, answer any of the questions that come in. So feel free to type them in at any time and we'll ask them right at the end. So with that, I will hand it over. Uh, thanks, Tanner. Um, thanks everybody for the um, for the great opportunity to uh, share a little bit about our organization, what we've been up to over the last couple of years, and how we can help you um, uh, moving moving forward in the in the future in regards to uh, some of your equipment needs, whether it be construction uh, or grounds maintenance or material handling. Material handling. Um, so with that, I'll turn it over to Jesse Rowe, who's gonna run you through the, the, the great presentation that we have. Please don't hesitate uh, to reach out to us. Um, we're, we're here to help and assist. Um, you know, over the last couple of years, everybody's been through some challenging times. Uh, we certainly understand and, and appreciate that, but we're here to serve as, as a resource for you and, uh, and, and the things that you do. So uh, with that, Jesse, take her away. Great, thank you, sir. Thank you, Tanner. Thanks everybody for your attendance today. We're gonna to start with just a quick video on Bobcat. We are Bobcat. That's right. We're a mud-loving, snow-shoving, field-plowing, wood-cutting, rock-popping son of a ditch. Another way of putting it, we're just one tough animal. You see, we're in the business of helping people make hard work a whole lot easier. That was the whole reason we invented the skid steer in the first place. And that was 62 years ago. Ever since then, we, and by we, I mean the thousands of dedicated employees hard at work perfecting the design, technology, and manufacturing of compact equipment. We have been on a mission to make a product that empowers you to do more. This is equipment for today, with mind-blowing innovation for tomorrow. Yep, we are Bobcat. Who wants to watch that again? Raise your hand. That's such an exciting video, and it goes a long way to highlight uh, all the products that that Bobcat company uh, brings to the market. Um, and speaking of the market, uh, with our partnership with Sourcewell and Canoe, we bring all of those products that you saw in that video um, streamlined, all available via the contract uh, to all the municipalities in Ontario. Um, so looking at the, the, the slide you, you see on the screen now, um, the products on the right are the, the ones that Bobcat built its reputation upon is the skid steer. You saw we invented the skid steer uh, into the compact track loader. Uh, second from the right there is the tool cat. Um, the Toolcat Utility Work Machine, a uh, jack of all trades, I, I would say, and a, a favorite amongst municipalities. Um, you can view some of the other products there on the page. I would like to direct your attention quick to uh, the third one from the left. That's our a new offering called our Small Articulated Loader, uh, quickly becoming a favorite amongst municipalities. Great for uh, for moving snow, cleaning cleaning walks, uh, and getting into tight spaces where other machines cannot. 
Um, you can see on our screen here, we got we have the, the contracts listed. Um, we, we offer all of our products via several contracts um, in, our, in our partnership. Um, and I'll, I'll go into those here in just a second. So we actually have four contracts that, that bring our, our products to the Canoe Procurement Group and the LAS. Um, we have the medium duty compact construction and maintenance equipment contract. Um, you can navigate, you can find our products by going to the LES website, which is actually um, very great. It, it's a great website. It's in alignment with the Canoe website and, and in alignment with the Sourcewell website. Um, it, when you go to the group buying website, there's a number of, of categories, and that's what you're seeing underneath the links on each of these headings. Um, so via the, the medium duty equipment contract, you'll, you'll find Bobcat's entire catalog um, to include skid steers, uh, track loaders, egg equipment, excavators, utility vehicles, uh, and so on, you can see there. Then we also have a grounds maintenance and equipment contract. Um, that's, it's slightly redundant. We have all of our products are on that first one listed there. And then we also have a specific one for grounds maintenance equipment. Um, the, the state of redundancy may be temporary. We'll, we'll see what Sourcewell intends to do there. In addition to uh, Bobcat products, um, we also have uh, our Doosan portable power products. So think of the Doosan portable power products kind of as an emergency preparedness with generators, light towers. Uh, they also have air compressors and light compaction equipment. And then finally, rounding out um, the Clark Equipment corporate umbrella, uh, the Doosan Bobcat corporate umbrella, we also have some public utility equipment with our Doosan uh, industrial vehicles, our, our forklifts, electric, diesel, and propane forklifts. So with these contracts, um, what we, it, it, it can offer uh, excellent planning. Um, what we like, what we like via the contracts is that it cuts out a lot of the, 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 the barriers that exist um, in a traditional tender process. Um, when, once we have the contracts, we like to say that we can actually begin to partner more. And this has really uh, improved buyer supplier relations and has helped just navigate all the recent disruptions that we're all experiencing. So a little bit more about the way that we fulfill. Um, so Brandy and I are here uh, from a corporate perspective to, to help you with the contracts and, and navigate the contracts and uh, process orders and, 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 and do quoting. But we also have our entire dealer network um, available to you as well. Um, you can visit bobcat.com backslash dealer uh, to find your closest location. Uh, we have uh, 88 locations in Ontario uh, 42 of which uh, carry the, the full line of products. Uh, visit that resource, it's Google Enhanced. It, it'll help you find uh, the exact uh, dealership closest to your location. Uh, next on our agenda, we're gonna, we're gonna go through some of our, uh, what we've been innovating. Uh, and it, it begins with another quick video. Part of being a market leader is you have to be out in front on, on things like innovation. We've been the innovation leader for 60 years, and you're going to get innovations for the next 60 years. When people think of compact equipment, innovation might not be the first thing that comes to mind. But here at Bobcat, it's at the core of everything we do. You see, innovation helps us keep up with you, evolving with your equipment and allows us to keep dreaming up big ideas that continue to make Bobcat the most innovative company in an industry that we created. So in the past, we were always focused on the physical machine itself, more lifting capacity, quieter ride, a smoother ride, faster machine, a more productive machine. And now what we're focused on is how do we take information and data coming off the machine and provide that to our customers and our dealers to help them get more done on the job site. Our approach to innovation extends company-wide, with all of our employees making a direct impact in our pursuit. Everyone in the company helps on innovation. 
Me and my team, we're not the only people working on it. It takes the entire organization for us to be able to take a new idea and take it to the next level and take it out to the marketplace. And our philosophy, well, it's simple, literally. The first thing is, is it has to be simple for the user. That's our first, um, our first tenet of, in our innovation philosophy is, it has to be simple to use. All of us are consumers of technology. We've all downloaded a bad app or we've had a bad piece of technology that was too complicated. So if it isn't simple, it's not gonna work. The second tenet of that is we like to think that the technology can be retrofitable, being able to put it on older equipment. So we can take the latest and newest technology and put it on an on a, uh, existing piece of equipment so a customer can update their fleet and not just necessarily have to buy a new machine. And 2020 was a big year with two key innovations. First, Bobcat Max Control Remote Operation, allowing you to remotely operate your Bobcat loader from an iOS app. Full control, outside the cab, in the palm of your hand. Second, we launched Bobcat Features On Demand, allowing you to test features before purchasing and enable them if you need them. This fully customizable approach is now available on select R-Series loaders. And with 2021 just around the corner, we're really excited to give you a little preview of what's to come. 2021 is gonna be a big year. We got a number of cool things we're working on. The first of these is a heads-up display, and this is a really neat technology, but we're, we're gonna be using the front glass of our loaders and our excavator lines actually as a, as a viewing device. So we'll be able to either project or show different types of features. They might be job site features, they might even be video content. So remember, next time you think of Bobcat, know that we're pushing the boundaries every day to bring you forward-thinking technology and innovation for equipment built to take on tough, and empowering you to do more. Outstanding. So just to recap some of those new, new technologies along the left, we have some new product launches. Um, some of those were, were shown in the pictures before. Um, one that wasn't shown was uh, our com new line of compact wheel loaders. Um, and then jumping up to the top right, you saw the remote control, meaning one man can be running an excavator and also remotely piloting uh, the loader. Um, I think that uh, once people have the remote, uh, this remote capability, they're, they're amazed at what they uh, didn't think that they could accomplish with it. Um, features on demand was mentioned. Uh, Bob Dock is a, is a fantastic feature. That's shown in the picture in the bottom right. Um, what that allows you to do is change hydraulic attachments without leaving the cab. You can see um, there's the coupling devices are built right into the faceplate on the attachment, um, the attachment plate there. Um, we can dive into that a little bit later. And then during the video, a gentleman discussed uh, all the, the data points from a machine. And that's kind of what's shown in that, that center bottom uh, photo is our uh, machine IQ. Um, imagine being able to tell how much uh, fuel you have in your machine remotely, uh, how much hydraulic fluid you have in your machine remotely, how many hours have been accumulated on the machine, and, and also its physical location, your ability to set up uh, geofencing to see, so you can receive an alert if a machine leaves uh, a job site. Um, a whole host of information is available uh, to equipment owners via the machine IQ. And then what, one thing that we're all very excited about is our, our launching of our new uh, electric track loader, which is shown in the picture in the bottom left. Uh, that product was launched at the uh, Consumer Electronics Show earlier this year in Vegas. Um, what I'm hearing, uh, or, or not hearing, I guess, is that that machine is, is eerily quiet. It's very quiet. Uh, your operators uh, will thank you for um, reducing the, uh, the fatigue normally that comes with the, the noise and the, and the rumble. Uh, as well as the environmentalists uh, will thank you for the uh, the electrical um, reduction or, or you know, environmental considerations. So that is actually the end of our presentation here. We have um, points of contact for all of the product lines there. Um, on the phone, we also have Tom Kennedy, uh, the senior uh, director account manager, or excuse me, senior dealer account manager. He manages all the relationships with the dealers in Ontario. 
Um, and then we also have a few folks that, that aren't with us. Connor Cameron, uh, he is the inside sales coordinator for the, our forklift division. And then we also have Christy Willett, um, a government account manager for the uh, do some portable power products and their emails and phone numbers are listed there. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Um, thanks again for everybody's uh, attendance. I'm going to turn it over to Tanner for Q and A. All right. Thanks everybody for the uh, the presentation. We'll we'll give our attendees a few minutes to type in their questions. Uh, but I guess in the meantime, uh, we know with COVID that supply chains have been pretty messed up uh, in the last couple of years. So can you give us a bit of an update on where things are at with Bobcat and if there's anything uh, our members would need to know if they're trying to get their hands on some equipment? Sure, uh, I'll, I'll take that one, Tanner. So, um, you know, again, I'm, I'm Randy Foss, I'm Director of Government Accounts for uh, Doosan Bobcat. And uh, thanks again for, uh, you know, the great opportunity to spend a little time with you and share some of the updates and some of the great things uh, that we've been doing uh, throughout the pandemic. And as we push through, um, you know, push through or, or you know, provide the throughput from, uh, from the pandemic. But um, in regards to the supply chain, um, you know, we, all manufacturing uh, industries or organizations, manufacture products today certainly are in unprecedented times. Um, so it's no different, you know, for us at, at Doosan Bobcat, we have our, our, uh, our challenges just like every, uh, every organization does today as it relates to uh, maybe steel components or electrical components or uh, microchips is a common one uh, that everybody talks about. Um, all those things that go into uh, making our great products, um, one way, shape or form has, there's some bottlenecks in the supply chain that we're experiencing just like everyone. Um, but with that, you know, becomes a, there, there's a great opportunity, uh, even though there's some challenges, um, I'd, I'd invite us to look at it as an opportunity to uh, become a little closer, um, get a little bit better in, 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 in sharpening our planning skills, um, you know, or our strategies as it relates to, um, you know, relates to, you know, the procurement cycle, the procurement process, uh, the time legs. So, I would invite you know each and every one of us that that that's on the call that you know with the supply chain challenges it doesn't you know our planning can't stop but this is our opportunity to you know simply become a little bit closer get a little bit better um, with our discussions and, and maybe over communicate um, you know as it relates to the, the supply chain and you know when we can potentially get you the equipment so Tanner I hope hopefully that answers the question. Yeah, and I think I can add, add a little bit onto that. One of the really nice things about the canoe program is because um, the RFP process has been done and has been awarded, you don't have that brick wall between the buyer and the seller that you typically need to have when a municipality is doing a traditional tender. So you, the municipality can just call their local dealer or Randy or Todd or Jesse and have a conversation to talk about what the right piece of equipment for the job is going to be, um, talk over the supply chain issues, the timing, what the municipality's needs are. And it gives you a lot more flexibility to come up with a solution um, than, you, than you have with a typical RFP or tender process. All right, we've got a quiet group today. I don't see any questions. I was, if I could just jump in, fellas, it's Todd Kennedy, um, Senior Account Manager here in Ontario and, and some markets in Canada. Um, I would encourage everyone, if you have questions or details that you need to work out with various assets that you're interested in, um, just take the time to reach out to your local dealers. Uh, they will be more than happy to, one, demonstrate equipment uh, if, it, if it's available or if your need is the training, they're available to do that, as well as... Uh, bringing you all the data and information that maybe your procurement team or your, uh, your market needs. And they're more than happy to help you with that. They're trained to do that. So they're willing to do that and, and happy to take your calls over and above anything to do with uh, from the pricing side of the game, right? The whole experience, product quality, product uh, performances, training and such. So please do reach out to your local dealers. They're ready to talk to you about 
any of your needs and uh, what they can do to help uh, provide for your markets. That's that's kind of my my uh, soapbox, folks. <laughs> but thanks again, everybody, and much much appreciated the, the chance to talk to you. All right, thanks. All right. Well, seeing no further questions in here, uh, I think we can wrap it up. I'll be sending out uh, a follow-up email with contact information for everybody. So if any questions do uh, come to mind as you think over what you saw today, feel free to contact any one of us and we'll be able to find an answer for you. Thanks everybody for taking the time. Thanks for Todd and Randy uh, and Jesse for presenting. Uh, and we'll catch you all again later. Thanks, everybody. Thank Thanks, you very Sarah. much. Have a great Thanks, rest everybody. of your week. Cheers, everybody.